So today I'm reviewing the Bose QuietComfort 35 Bluetooth wireless headphones. Now starting off with build quality, this is a primarily plastic build. You are gonna get some metal backplating on the earmuffs though, which is really nice. It does make the headphones feel a bit more premium and the padding for the headband and the earmuffs themselves is extremely soft. I think this is some kind of memory foam, I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's super soft and extremely comfortable. You can wear these headphones all day and have no issues at all. Now as far as buttons go, these headphones do have built-in volume controls. They're also double for track skip and then you also do get a play pause button as well. Now these are wireless headphones, so you can connect them through Bluetooth or NFC. Unfortunately, I have an iPhone, so I can't you know, test out the NFC capabilities, but the Bluetooth worked just fine, had no issues at all. There was no connectivity issues, no dropping or anything like that. You can also pair these headphones with multiple devices at the same time. So if you're carrying around your laptop and your phone a lot, you don't have to worry about manually switching between them. It's gonna automatically pair and you don't have to worry about that at all. A good thing about these headphones is that they can be used wired as well. So if they die on you or if the device you're trying to use them with don't have Bluetooth built in, you can just plug it in directly and use it like that. Though, unfortunately, like a lot of Bose headphones, they do use a more proprietary 2.5 millimeter output jack. Though, fortunately enough, Bose actually includes this cable with the headphones themselves, as well as a charging cable. And then you also get a really nice high quality carrying case with these headphones as well, which is a really great bonus to throw in. I'm glad they did this. It makes the headphones feel that much more worth it. The QuietComfort 35s are an over-ear design, which I personally just think makes them far more comfortable than any other design out there. I think on-ear or just pressing against your ear into your face and kind of mushing them there and it's really uncomfortable so over ear is perfect they just go around the outside of your ear they're not pushing up against anything at all and especially the soft padding makes it even more comfortable so you're not really going to notice it there after a while now the big selling point of these headphones is the noise cancellation and if you work in a busy office or maybe you're on flights a lot this is something you desperately need and i can say without a doubt this is probably the best noise cancellation I have ever used in a headphone. When you put these on, even before you start playing music, things start to get dead silent. Like it is really hard to hear anything around you before you even start playing anything. And as soon as you start playing music, that's it. You're not gonna hear anything around you at all. The only downside to this, however, is if you for some reason wanted to turn off the noise cancellation, you're not able to do that. There is absolutely no way for that noise cancellation to be churned off unless the headphones die and I think you plug them in. That's probably the only way you can get around the noise cancellation. To be honest, the noise cancellation kind of worked too well at some points. Like it kind of felt like there was a lot of pressure being built up in my ears when I had the headphones on. This feeling does go away when you start playing audio though. If you're watching a movie and there's like a lot of quiet scenes or if you're in between tracks, you are gonna notice a lot of pressure being built up in your ears. Now finally, audio quality. Now if you ever use a pair of Bose headphones before, you know they give you a more accurate sound than other manufacturers. They're not gonna give you a really hard bass if you're looking for really hard bass, you may want to just check out the new Beats Solo 3 headphones. These are just more accurate sound, so everything is going to be more leveled out and even. And I prefer this myself. You may not. It's not for everybody, definitely. But it's definitely, it's not, doesn't sound bad. I don't want to give you that impression. It sounds really crystal clear and accurate, and I, I prefer that myself. So if that's for you, then definitely get these headphones. And just to give you a rough sample of what you can expect from these headphones, here's the quick audio test. <laughs> Another huge selling point with the QuietComfort 35s is their battery life. You're gonna get about 20 hours of battery life with these headphones. So if you only listen to uh, audio for about two or three hours a day, these are gonna last you a few days and you're not gonna have to recharge it that often, which is great. So anyway, guys, that was my review of the Boss QuietComfort 35 headphones. I think they're excellent. I think they're amazing. For the price, you should definitely be considering these. If you're gonna spend that much money on headphones, these are the ones you're gonna to wanna to get. Now, if there's any other headphones you think I should be checking out and reviewing, let me know that in the comments down below. If you think these aren't the best headphones you should be getting for the price, let me know that in the comments down below as well. And let me know what you think are the best headphones for around the same $350 price tag. I also wanna thank you guys for helping me reach 700 subscribers i cannot believe it's freaking amazing i didn't think i'd ever reach 700 i didn't get it I'd ever pass 100. So thank you guys so much. I'm so close to 1,000. I really appreciate everybody who's supporting me and leaving comments and all that. It's really great. Um, I'm trying to improve the quality of my videos. I got a wider lens because I know a lot of people were complaining I was way too close to the camera. Um, I got a lavalier mic because I didn't like my audio quality before. It kind of sucked and this is fantastic. 200 bucks. I probably review this as well. I want to go back to reviewing more camera stuff than just general electronics. I still want to do that as well, but I think I want to focus more on just like camera equipment, photography, and videography, but I'm not sure. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But as always, my name is Joshua Jomios. Stay sexy, and I'll see you sometime.